we, we, we traditionally think of the doctor's role as to save life and prolong life. But modern medicine is no longer like that. We've cured all the easy diseases. Most of the problems we deal with now are about prolonging life, trying to improve the quality of life. And as we get older, it becomes increasingly difficult to know at what point you should stop. Um, it is said, certainly in America, that 75% of an individual's lifetime health care costs are spent in the last six months of life, which in effect is money wasted and reflects the fact that we all find it very difficult to give up and say it's time to die. And doctors find it very difficult to say, go away and die. And you can almost, you can end up with a sort of folly à deux where patient and doctor go on treating, inflicting often great suffering on people. Um, and we're willing to uh, suffer ourselves if we think we're going to live a bit longer. But hope makes fools of us at the end of the day. Clearly, if you're young, it makes sense to struggle with every fibre of your being to live a bit longer. But is it worth it at the age of 80 or 90? Maybe you would say I'm being terribly ageist. But we clearly have to stop at some point, And it's very difficult. I don't know what I'll say when I, if, if I develop some kind of potentially fatal illness. What I do know is that healthcare is becoming more and more expensive. And that is essentially a phenomenon because we're all living, living longer. Our, our ancestors didn't face these problems. They were all going to die from infectious diseases, rarely from cancer, in fact, um, for which there's no effective treatment. Um, and yes, obviously, we want effective treatment if we're young, but does it make sense as we get older? Most of us are going to die in hospital, often after weeks of misery, um, all in the desperate hope we might live a little bit longer. It's rather like the business of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. You look at the TV soaps, and people are being shocked and defibrillated and resuscitated all the time. Well, in reality, most resuscitation attempts are unsuccessful. And even if they are successful, and, the, and you get the patient's heart going again, most reports say if you have a less than 10% chance of leaving hospital alive, you'll probably just linger on, 90% of people linger on a bit longer and then die anyway. So you may say, well, that's fine, that 90% failure is worth a 10% success. But where do you draw the line? Is it 98 to 2% or 99 to 1%? These are very difficult choices, and most doctors, including myself, rather run away from them. But it's one of the reasons why healthcare costs are escalating and escalating.